Hey alligators, what's up? It's Sally Hardesty, and today's video is going to be the second in my series of moving story time. And this video in specific is going to be about the time that I moved my senior year of high school to Ohio from California. It was a pretty big move and it affected me in a lot of different ways, both positive and negative. So we're gonna talk about all that. As much as I love telling my crazy out there story times, I think it's really important to also touch on the things that sort of shaped you into the person that you are today. Even if you didn't ever have to move throughout your life, I hope that you can relate to some of the things that I'm going to talk about in this video bullying, friendships, dating, just a lot of things that happen in high school, I guess, regardless of if you move or not. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump on into this video. As I mentioned in my last story time video, I've moved around a ton growing up, especially when I was younger. And the last video that I talked about this sort of thing in was when I moved from Wisconsin to California in fourth grade. If you guys want to see that video, I will link it down below in the description box. So from there on, I lived in California until my senior year when I found out that my family was moving to Ohio. So I found out that we were going to be moving there there one day when my mom called us all in for a family meeting. That never happened to my family unless it was something serious and it was really, really rare. The last time we had a family meeting that I can remember was when my grandpa passed away in eighth grade. So I knew that it was probably not going to be good. Plus around that time, I remember my mom and my dad were acting really, really weird. Just sort of like they weren't telling us something. It was super late, maybe like nine or 10 o'clock on a school night. And they told us that my dad got a job offer in Cincinnati and all our family lives out there. His mom's getting pretty old that it just made sense for us to go there and my dad was more than likely going to take it. I was excited and upset at the same time. I wasn't sure how I felt about it but again it wasn't even really up to me because I was under the age of 18. My parents said that I wasn't for sure yet so I didn't want to think too much about it. I didn't really want to tell anybody. My parents told us specifically not to tell people because it wasn't a done deal yet and that if we were going to tell anybody just tell like a couple of our closest friends so we were like okay. The first person I told when I found out about this was my best friend Mala. She's still my best friend to this day. I told her when we were outside in her front lawn tanning, I clearly don't tan, but that's what we were doing. When I told her she was really sad, which made me sad because it hadn't dawned on me yet how hard it was actually going to be to leave these people that I cared about so much. I ended up telling my boyfriend next, Gabe, he didn't take the news well either. Like who wants their girlfriend to move across the country? And at the time we weren't sure if we were going to stay together or do long distance or what, because we were in high school and this was such a weird situation. Like I randomly just found out I was going to move really, really far. Then I told my best friend Nico and he wasn't happy either. Everyone I told was really, really upset. They didn't want me to leave. And then it sort of switched my mindset from being like 50-50, like, oh, it'd be fun either way to being like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave my friends. I was sort of in denial. Like I didn't want to admit it to myself that I was going to move away. So after I told those three people, I legit didn't tell anybody for months and months and months. My friends ended up getting kind of mad at me and upset and hurt that I didn't talk to them about it. But it was just really hard for me because I didn't want to cry. I didn't want to think about it where it made me depressed months and months and months before it actually happened. So I really did not tell the rest of my close, close friends until like a couple months before I actually left, which kind of sucked. I still thought in the back of my mind, there was going to be some sort of loophole where my parents and my brother could just move without me and I could stay here, I could live on my own, I could get emancipated. I don't know what I thought, but it wasn't realistic. Like I was ultimately going to have to move with them if that's what we ended up doing. My parents told me that it was a done deal a little bit later on. And around this time, once they told me it was for sure happening, I was on the phone with my grandma and I accidentally like told her the news and she didn't know, I guess. I thought she knew at this point because my dad and her are really close. They talk like every single day and she was also part of the reason why we were sort of moving there. But I guess she didn't know. She played along with it when I told her. And then she ended up like calling my parents and asking them about it. So I sort of like leaked that before that was supposed to come out to my whole dad's side of the family. And so I would say like the week before we actually ended up moving, it became really real to me. The movers were at our house. We were selling our house and all this stuff. I had to say goodbye to my friends. It was so hard for me. I could not stop crying. I was super bitter about it. It wasn't what I wanted, but it was what I had to do. And I really resented my parents, honestly, at the time because of that. My dad had been living out there for, I want to say like three months in this hotel because he was already like working there and everything and getting our house lined up for us because we were going to have a house in this new neighborhood. So they were actually still in the process of building it. So when we flew out there, we were living in the hotel with him. He just like got an extra room. It was like this big suite until our house was finished building, which ended up actually being a while because there was complications when it was being built. It flooded. It was just this whole chaotic mess. So I had to drive to school when school started like 45 minutes with my brother and also 
also my car hadn't been shipped yet so we were sharing my brother's car and I had a period before school started where it was like late arrival and I just had to sit there and it sucked the driving rules everything out there are so different that it was actually terrifying to drive because I'm already a really bad driver and if you've ever lived in California and the Midwest you know that it is just completely different like the traffic rules and the stoplights etc plus when you're in an unfamiliar place you already kind of don't know where you're going you have to use ways or maps on your phone like 24 7 my ex-boyfriend Gabe actually came to visit me before school started like the week I got there we did long distance the entire time I lived there we actually saw each other very often pretty much every single break I had from school he was visiting me or I was visiting him when school started I decided that I wanted to switch my perspective I was like you know what Ali this wasn't ideal for you but let's make the most out of it you can still visit your friends you can move back after high school that was always my plan my parents I don't really think thought I was serious until it happened because I did move back to California which will be another video like I said so when I got to school on the first day I introduced myself to all these people it was Kings Mills like Kings High School Kings Middle School all that stuff and people just like grew up together it was a very close-knit community which made it sort of hard to make friends because I felt like it was very clicky and everybody already knew each other but at the same time I think everyone knew I was the new girl because of that because I stood out everyone kept calling me Allie from Cali that was my nickname pretty much the entire year I made friends with these group of girls that I sat with at lunch before my lunch period was switched because I had to change my schedule I talked about this in a couple other videos as well I was sitting with them at lunch for consistently like every single day and they were really really awesome I hung out with some of them outside of school I thought they were gonna be my friends throughout the year and there was a situation where I wore pajamas one day to school that my boyfriend actually sent me from his college and so when I did that the girls that I was sitting with they told me that I had no respect for myself because I didn't care about how I looked and that they don't do that here that you can't wear pajamas to school this this and this and you can I didn't get dress coded it was nothing like that it was just their opinion that it was not acceptable socially and then they even made a joke saying that I couldn't sit with them but they were being completely serious and they pointed at a table of special needs kids and said that if I was going to dress like that I would be better off sitting with them. And so I ended up actually doing just that. I don't think I sat with that table, but I moved tables. I no longer sat with them. They also were giving me shit about wearing a garter to prom because people do that in the Bay Area where I grew up. And they called me a slut because they said that was for when you get married, like at your wedding. Why do people care how other people dress or what other people do? I will never understand. But it really got under my skin because they were consistently saying these sort of things to me and they were all just sort of ganging up on me and so I was like all right I'm no longer going to sit with these people I don't like them and then around this time actually I had met these people since the very beginning of the school year Mackenzie and Lindsay they are still two of my best friends to this day but I didn't have lunch with them and then they ended up switching my lunch and I think I did have lunch with Mackenzie after that and they were like the two people I hung out with all the time throughout that school year I didn't really make an effort to make other friends besides that because I was just like no I don't want any drama it's not worth it those girls were really mean like unexpectedly so I'm not even gonna go there which is so unlike me because at Heritage I knew everyone I was so social I was so outgoing I was very involved I had a ton of friends I had other friends besides just those two but I hung out with them the most like my friend Alex we're still very good friends to this day when I go back home I visit her too people were nice to me but those were like the few people who actually made an effort to like hang out with me outside of school and make sure that I felt included the only time people would talk to me was to ask me questions about where I'm from why'd you move here where do you live what does your dad do people are just trying to be nice but to a point it just got so annoying there were times where I literally sat in the bathroom at lunch and cried because I hated it so so much I didn't really give it a chance as much as I should have so that's a piece of advice I would give to anybody who does move try your best to consistently make an effort because after I made an effort in the beginning and I got shut down a little bit by those girls who were really mean I just didn't try I really didn't like at all honestly if Lindsay and Mackenzie and all them if they hadn't been really really trying to be my friend as much as they had and invited me out constantly I probably would not have had any friends like at all and I just felt like what's the point I'm gonna move back anyways it would have been different I feel like if I moved there my sophomore year or maybe even my junior year but my senior year I was just like nope prom there was a lot different than the prom that I went to in California my boyfriend at the time flew out to go with me we had assigned seating so I couldn't really sit with my friends and things like that at the tables and so when we were watching the senior class video at prom I was so freaking sad because everybody I was seeing on the screen everyone's face I just didn't recognize they were all a bunch of strangers to me and it really hit me like I am graduating with people I don't even know all my friends are back home I miss them so much and I started uncontrollably bawling my eyes out in public and if you guys know me you know that I hate crying in front of people even if it's someone I'm very very close to I just cannot do it I get so embarrassed and I feel like that almost makes me cry harder I cried throughout the entire prom I would stop and then I would like break down again I went outside behind this little pillar thing and was crying my boyfriend tried to help me 
but he was making it more obvious, like drawing attention to the fact that I was crying and I was just getting really upset and I didn't want anyone to talk to me, including him. My senior class, they went to Six Flags at one point and I remember crying alone in my bed because everyone was posting pictures and all this stuff and I was so sad that I couldn't have been there. And even now it makes me upset because I think like, am I even going to be invited to my reunion? I don't know, like I really don't know because I didn't graduate there and it sucks so bad because I really did not know people that I graduated with in Ohio besides like a few. And seeing that senior video just really made me realize that even more. My boyfriend ended up talking to the principal and they made an exception, like they called my mom and everything and then we were able to leave. And then the other experience I remember having was when I graduated, this was like on the complete contrary, my actual graduation ceremony, it made me feel really close to my class even though at prom I felt like I didn't know any of them because everyone was just really, really nice and coming up to me saying that they were glad that I moved there and I was a part of the class their senior year and all this stuff. I know I sound crazy because I'm talking about how much I hated it there, but then at graduation everyone really included me even though I hadn't grown up with them my whole life like everybody else. I wanted to go back home to California obviously and be with my boyfriend and my friends and go to school there, but I was really sad. So I think I cried at graduation too, but for like the complete opposite reason where I was just like happy that I had made friends there and went through everything that I did and that I had the opportunity to experience living somewhere else other than California my senior year and getting to know those people because not all of them were bad. Like in no way am I saying these people were bad. I'm just saying that they weren't the people I knew my whole life. They weren't really familiar to me. And looking back, I really do wish that I would have made more of an effort throughout my senior year to make more friends and go out and be more involved because I think I would have had a much better time living there. Especially because now I didn't realize how much I was going to go back and visit. Like I'm back every summer, at least for like part of the summer and for Christmas break. This experience also helped me to be a lot more appreciative of the people in my life because you never know when someone could just move across the country and you'll never see them again. Don't think that the grass is greener on the other side because it's not. A lot of people would kill to be in your shoes and have a chance to have a fresh start like I did or to experience their senior year with everyone that they grew up in were really familiar with. After the summer was over with, my mom and I packed up my car and we drove from Ohio to California and then she took a flight back home to Ohio. Like she just helped me move my stuff here and that's where I am now. I go to Shasta College. After this semester, I will be at Chico State. This is stuff that I should probably put in like the part three video, moving from Ohio to California, if you guys wanna see that, because I could talk about so many of the things that I went through moving here, living in the dorms, and then now my apartment, and just being 100% on my own, because that was like the last point where I actually lived with my parents. Please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you liked it in the comment section below. I hope that it helps somebody out there and could make you feel less alone if you are going through the same thing. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. I also have a Patreon if you guys want exclusive photos, private Snapchat, and the ability to message me and interact on there like 24-7. That'll be in the description box right there. Also, my social medias are on the screen if you guys want to go ahead and follow them, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, all getters. Bye.